Hey everyone, what's up? Good morning. It's a beautiful day. I uh, had a funny experience this morning. Not really funny, I guess, but enlightening, really. Enlightening. I, I got a sales lesson from my 12-year-old daughter. And it was unintentional. She was so cute. She was just being herself. And it happened in a matter of like five seconds, ten seconds. It was really brief. She just popped in, boom, left. And I was just sitting there going, oh my gosh. Like kids have amazing natural sales skills. And it's just interesting if you have kids and you watch them, they're, you know, they're persistent. Sometimes to their own fault because they can go overboard with it. Um, she's particularly um, adamant or, I guess, persistent, and sometimes to her own fault because it'll get annoying. You're like, I said no, the answer's no, you're not, you know, going over to a friend's house playing a game tonight, whatever it is, and uh, she'll just keep on and keep on and keep on. So kids are really good at not accepting rejection and uh, taking it and just keeping on going and going and going. The tenacity and the persistence is, you know, something we can all benefit from. Now, so I had finished my workout. I'm in the middle of my morning routine. I'm sitting at the computer, um, kind of checking in for the day, uh, a real quick check-in like I do on uh, my email and social media platforms. And she pops in, she's getting dressed. My wife is getting ready for the day, combing her hair. And we have in our bedroom, when you first walk in, we have a, a, a jewelry stand that's behind the door. And my daughter, my 12-year-old daughter, likes to go in sometimes and borrow my wife's jewelry from time to time. And so um, she's old enough, she's got her ears pierced, and she likes to wear necklaces and bracelets and rings and things. So sometimes uh, my wife will let her borrow some things as long as she returns them, which is a different story. But uh, this morning, my daughter pops in, and uh, Halloween's coming up. So she found a couple of earrings with these little pumpkin earrings, jack-o'-lanterns, I guess, and she pulls them out and she turns to my wife and she says the following. Now get this, this is the brilliant sales tactic that I learned. She says the following to my wife. She says, if you were to let me use these earrings, you would be the best mom in the world. Okay, so a lot of us would just hear that and go, oh, that's cute, whatever, and, and move on. But something about it struck me and I'm always, I always, have my feelers up for interesting bits, lessons, um, and today's is brought to you by my daughter. So she comes in and says, if you were to let me borrow these, uh, you would be the best mom in the world. Now let's dissect that. So she starts off with a hypothetical, but she has a very, um, you know, it's a positive hypothetical. So she's kind of painting the picture for my wife in just a few words or less. If you were to let me borrow these, it's tough, it's not pressury, it's not salesy, but then she ties it right into the benefit right afterwards. If you did that, you would be the best mom in the world. And it, it was also how she did it. This is the second part of it. It's not that just she, it's not just that she used those words, which I thought was adorable, but she wasn't whiny, she wasn't needy, she wasn't like, Mom, can I borrow these? She would have put him down and walked right away. She was in a great, a great mad attitude, a great state of mind. She's very happy, very positive. She just said, "Hey, if you were to let me borrow these, you'd be the best mom in the world." It was just like that. And who wouldn't want to be the best mom in the world? I mean, she's got my wife right there. I thought that was so cute. So, um, of course, guess who's wearing her mom's earrings today? Yeah, um, it worked. And so I thought, you know, what if I use that on a client? You know, if you were to let us do your business, you would be the best client in the world. If you, if you were to buy my product, you would be the best customer in the world. I mean, it's a little corny to use in a professional setting, but corny can be good sometimes. I mean, it's, it's positive, it's interesting, and it certainly catches people's attention. So it was a line that I wanted to pass on. There's a lot of sales lessons in that line because it's so brief, but yet it's so full of innocence and positive.
positivity and even a little bit of storytelling because she's painting the picture for my wife, literally. Like, hypothetical, and here's the outcome. Is the benefit for you is you get to be the coolest mom in the world. So, anyways, it worked. She got her, uh, her earrings. My wife was happy to share and uh, my daughter was on her way just that fast and I sat there at the computer just going like I couldn't even concentrate for a little while I was just like oh my gosh that was the coolest thing she just it was like it came so naturally and uh, and it was uh, just in a way that my wife couldn't refuse so let me just couple that with a little blurb that I read in a book that I'm reading right now it's called the power of now by some, I can't remember how to pronounce his name, Eckhart or something like that. It's a very deep philosophical book on being in the now and practicing mindfulness and being in the present moment and how the future and the past are merely illusions and time and all this kind of stuff. So some of it is very interesting. Uh, some of it is a little out there for me to absorb, and maybe that's just because of where I am, and I'm just way, you know, underdeveloped, and at some point then I'll get it. I don't know. But there's some stuff where I'm like, yeah, that's a little too far out there. But today's uh, chapter I was reading was about negativity and how it taints what you're doing, <clears throat> and it casts... Uh, uh, you know, kind of, a, a, I guess, a cloud over what, whatever it is that you're doing. So whatever circumstances you find yourself in, if you look at things from a negative point of view, by complaining or saying things in a negative way, all you're doing is tainting what you're doing and making whatever it is worse. So if, if it's good, you're making it worse. If it's bad, you're making it worse. If it's great, you're making it worse. No matter what it is, having a negative mindset, a negative outcome, you're just making it worse. So my daughter, in my daughter's case, it was just beautifully painted with positivity. There wasn't an ounce of negativity in the room when she was saying that. And, um, and it worked perfectly. And I thought, you know, if we could capture that enthusiasm and innocence and positivity in our businesses as entrepreneurs or as business folks or you know, even as salespeople making a sale, whatever, along that, un, uh, that non-verbal communication, you know, it's different, that stands out, that really makes people like us instantly and make us, make them want to do business with us. Uh, that positivity can really work for your benefit. Even the smallest amount of negativity, if you're having a bad day, it'll translate. So you have to really be careful with it. Uh, anyway, so, so a few thoughts, but you know, mostly I wanted to just dive into that sales lesson. It did have some positivity mixed in with it, so that negativity was a second thought, but it, it really kind of ties in. I hope you got something out of that. I love that you're listening, you're following along. Please feel free to share these. Uh, my Facebook community, you can go to 3x5group.com, 3x5, 3x5goals is my main hub. That's where everything happens, and I'd love to see you there. I've got the goal cards now that I am giving away. You just have to cover the cost of shipping. That's all on the website as well. Feel free to join in if you have struggle focusing, productivity, any of that kind of thing. These goal cards are amazing. I can't say enough good things about them. They're, they really help me stay focused on what's most important. And there are so many ways to get distracted in this world. It's insane. So um, kudos to all of you using them. And I encourage those of you who aren't to just give it a shot and see if it doesn't change your life in 30 days. I can almost guarantee it will. Anyways, have an awesome day. I'm glad you listened. I hope you got something out of that. And I'll talk to you next time.